Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 38. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Alright, next up is the Twin Ring Motegi Road Course. Today, we are going to be going around this absolute beast of a track. It's going to be uh, seven laps again. And what we're going to do, we're going to swap out our tyres. And I think I'm going to go for mediums. I think it should be okay. In fact, no. Because Suzuka was quite a long track. And I know Twin Ring is about 2 minutes and 10 seconds per lap. So it's about the same length as Suzuka. It's the second longest track. So no, I think we do need a hard tyre. We'll go for hards for now. But I think after this one, we can definitely swap it back and bring it back down a bit. Or might just end up forgetting and leaving it on hard. Who knows? But let's go. Let's do this. Race number three of the Tourist Trophy World Championship. And we're off. So problems with this track massive problem is this second corner coming up now doesn't have a very good braking zone uh, the game gives you no recommendation whatsoever so just 150 meter board should be fine with a uh, GSX 1000 and again this being the victory bike we've already driven around this track with this bike so I've got some pretty good expertise Awesome. Bob's got the Aprilia getting a massive boost up ahead. Awesome. Nice. A little bit of a wheelie. Just to show that we are having fun. And overshooting all of the corners. There we go. Crap corner, but who cares. We're just here to have some fun. I mean, that's all this channel really is about. Just having fun with games. Nice. on perfect wheelie just a tiny one how have we overshot all the corners so far diabolical brakes on this thing Though, if I do remember correctly, uh, in the last one, in the last race around Suzuka, we crashed over 10 times. So, um, I think it should be quite easy to overtake and win this. Nice. I see a bike in front of me. I want to try and overtake it. Oh, what is that? Massive amounts of contact. Almost an unfair amount of contact. Nice. 
nice. Got a massive wheelie going on. You just see the other bikes just closing in so quick when you get into a braking zone. It's ridiculous. Nice. Moving on to a lap numero trois. Number three. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And here we go, breaking zone. Whoa! Nearly lost it there. Nice, nice. There's honestly so much fun to be had in these old PS2 games. You think this is running on hardware that is 20 years old, this game. And it's still a very playable game. It's the graphics of it are insanely good. And what's even more impressive is it's running on a PS2. The hardware for a PS... If you do a comparison between the PS2 and the PS3. The PS3 has a monster CPU, right? Compared to the PS2 that has... Um, needs a massive fan... The fans are loud as hell, requires Blu-ray drives, massive hard drives and all that stuff, right? And the fact is, the graphics quality of Gran Turismo 5 and Gran Turismo 6, even though they're very stunning looking games, aren't too much more extra than, as especially Gran Turismo 5, wasn't a huge leap up from Gran Turismo 4. Granted, Gran Turismo 6 was stunning, shit, I crashed. Gran Turismo 6 was stunning, and they did a major job on that. But the fact is, you're running this on a PS2 that is... You can feel the PS2 now has been running for over an hour, and it's not even warm. And it is running this game. I actually wonder if you could take the PS2, because um, I recently watched a uh, Linus Tech Tip videos. Linus Tech Tips video. There we go, that's it, Glitch. Um, where they chopped up a Nintendo Wii and stuck it inside of like a Game Boy case. And honestly, one of the coolest things I have ever seen. Like Wii games being played on a on a handheld. And it was an entire Wii console fitted inside. It was just amazing. This is very good. We're obviously coming up to the... Well, we're past the halfway mark now. And our tyres are still very bright green. There is no form of wear whatsoever on them. Oof. Big crash. I'm very tired today, so that's probably why I'm crashing a lot. Um, but yeah. I'll just make my excuses now, so that you know why I'm doing so shit. Oh, I've just realised. Oh, great. 
Uh, the next track is the Fuji 2005 track. That I'm looking forward to. What on earth is this crashing though? I need to stop crashing. My guy, get round the corners, not crash round the corners. Awesome. I love the full twin ring circuit. It's such a nice track. And again, one thing on my bucket list is to go to Japan, ride an R32 or an R34 around Suzuka, around the twin ring, around Sakuba. Those kind of tracks. I never ever gave credit. Like, if you were to ask me what my favourite track was a couple of years ago, I would have said, Ah, oh, Silverstone is the best because it's British. And I even made up bullshit arguments for it being the best track. I mean, for Formula One, it's the best track, easily, because it tests so much. But other than that, what is Silverstone actually good for? Nothing. It's not a good track for anything else. It is designed literally for Formula 1 cars now. That's why they redesigned it all those years ago. But the middle section is very good. You've obviously got the smaller circuits, it's fine. But like, it just doesn't have the flow of circuits like... Crashy McCrashy Man here. It doesn't have the feel or the fun factor of some of these other tracks, especially Suzuka. I mean, you've got two very long straights, one of them with a turn midway through it, which is shocking to try and do. You've then got yourself the s bends three of them, or two and a half if you're on the full track. And then this. Four long straights. Which is crazy. And a high speed ring. I mean, what more could you want? This track literally has three pit stations for it. One on that straight, one on this straight. It's crazy. And if you think about it, this is perfect track design. Because they could get so much money from this track. Because they could do three races in one go. Short track here. Short track up here. You've obviously got this entire road section. You've got this tiny track here. And then you've got the big main circuit. The ring. Which is literally right there next to us. You can see the road there. Impressive. Let's go. Oh shit, this is the final lap as well. I've just been ranting about racetracks. <laughs> I've been ranting about racetracks so long I actually lost count on how many laps we were on. Exactly four second gap between us and the bike behind. Nice.
awesome. Right, we're coming up to the very long straight for the final time this race. I don't know. This is probably the final time we're going to go down this track as well. Let's do a really nice wheelie. Awesome. And here we go, on to the final straight. I will take that victory. Ta-da. With a massive crash. Lovely. 14.29. That was a good time. Hopefully the next track's a little bit shorter. Because this is getting quite long. <laughs> this is taking a long time. But there we go. That's the twin ring done. All right, welcome to Fuji Speedway 2005, the decent track. The Fuji Speedway that I love. Absolutely love this track. I don't like the other Fuji Speedways, the uh, 80s and the 90s, just because, wow, I like the 80s because it flows, but the corners of the 90s one are so bad for fast cars because of the fact that they're just sudden. They're not proper corners. So you take that corner and then you take this one. And then here is a lead up to a corner. And look, there's a corner. It doesn't send you straight on and then all of a sudden there's a corner tighter than it should be. No, this track feels very open. When you play the other Fuji tracks and then you ride on this one, you realize, oh shit, that's very open. This is obviously another uh, real life Japanese track that I want to drive. Oh, come on. What the hell was that? You better fall off, mate. You better fall off your bike. You're not even going to fall off, are you? Brilliant. Thanks for that. So you're going to try and ruin my race. And also not ruin your own. Disco Stang! I'm going to knock you off. I will knock you off. I don't care. That was unfair what you did to me. Here we go. Nice. And we're off. Nearly going into pit lane there. Definitely don't want to do that. And onto the brakes after hitting 200 miles an hour. Perfect. What is that? Uh, that corner is is a difficult corner still. It's not ideal. Awesome. Nice, nice. There we go. Very good corners here.
come to the outside here and then come to the inside. Oh, very nice. Slowly trying to catch up, but whether we will catch up might be a difficult story. Though those bikes behind us slow as hell. Not even getting a chance to be decent. They're just rubbish. Awesome. Oh, no, I've messed up. Big time messed up. I started turning way too early and then stopped turning and started turning and that caused that wobble. Bikes are not supposed to move like that. Very nice. Hopefully I can get this finished by um, within the next few hours. I want to get this finished soon. And uh, I did do some research on if there are any secret events. And there is another event actually after this once you finish this. Um, so we will have to try and unlock that. But hopefully I can get this done by 5 o'clock today. And then once it's done, that's me done for a few weeks. Nice. Let's go, let's go. Dun 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 dun. Ba da bum 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 bum. Bum. I can see the bike. We are getting close to the other bike, so that is a bonus. The next track is the um, Mategi Speedway. So, hopefully, we get a decent race around there. It would be good to have a decent race around the Twin Ring. Hey, we got a good corner here. Outside like this, inside, towards the outside, very nice. That is one of the most trickiest corners, I think, in racing, to get the racing line. I don't think it's the trickiest corner ever, because there are definitely trickier corners. But to get the racing line, and to get a good racing line, that definitely is up the top with the hardest corners to take. Totally possible, though. Same as it is totally possible to ruin your breaking point and pretty much ruin ruin your race. Brilliant. That is not how that's supposed to be taken. How am I in second gear around there, but all the other bikes can do it in fourth? Me is confused. Okay, let's try and get that lead back. Oh, we've 
done a switcheroo there. And we're going to do a switcheroo back to you. Awesome. Nice. Right, here we go, on to lap number six. Are we gonna get a best lap for this one? No, of course not. We went too wide, didn't we, at the start? So after here, we're gonna come out to the orange barricade there, towards the inside wall. Guess that's an okay break in line, but not great. You see, we lose so much time there. We are losing so much time, it's ridiculous. I'm loving it. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love the analog buttons, and because of the amount of time that I've sort of been playing, like, Gran Turismo and all that, I've sort of gotten used to moderating the throttle with the analog buttons, and it is awesome. It's really satisfying to just, like, rev an engine with, like, look at that, just revving, using the X button, a button that is analog. It's pretty impressive. You gotta give PlayStation's props for like making something like that. I honestly don't know if um, the PS1 was analog as well. I think that was. It had analog sticks, but I think the buttons were just buttons. And then I think for like Gran Turismo's to make them fun, they then added the analog buttons. I'm not sure. But the analog X buttons, people were like, oh yeah, what's the point in that? There's a lot of games that use it on PS2. I'm not sure if it's still on the PS4 controllers though. I've never had a PS4, so if anyone knows if PS4 has those analog buttons, let me know. It would be nice to know. It would also be nice to uh, take corners like normal. There we go, nice. We got a bike right behind us now, right on our ass. Awesome. The other bikes have only just gotten to the um, chicane section. And there we go. On the main straight to the finish. Very nice. Ta da! Oh, the finish line was further ahead. I saw the line and crossed it and thought that was it done. Apparently, it wasn't. I didn't check how long that took either. I just skipped it. How long did it take? Okay, the game's not even going to tell me. What the hell? But there we go, that is Fuji. The 2005 track, we won. 
very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like